Hi, and welcome to the Thinking Out Loud podcast. My name is Jendrek. My name is Masha. And we are two English teachers who stimulate your brains. Uh, you okay with this? This you okay is with so this label? ambitious. This is so ambitious, you know? Yeah, it's ambitious given that uh, we are just ordinary people, right? It's like your brain is already super stimulated and you need other oh, yeah, people, you're right. you know? That's why. No, but you. No, wait a second. It's overstimulated in terms of. Yeah, of course. It's stimuli. Over. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the news, the, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the 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 uh, mm -hmm. media that we consume. Mm -hmm. But is it rightly stimulated? Ah, oh, that's the question. Okay, okay, then I'll let you go along with it. Police right, yeah. granted you permission. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, it, there's there's been a time when we were trying to um, find a feature of this podcast that makes unique a unique selling point. <laughs> yeah, a unique selling point, exactly. And I guess the conclusion we arrived at was that uh, it's actually a podcast that allows its listeners to somehow... I'm I'm lacking words here. Is that participate, to, to, right? Yeah. Well, you, they to could if along. they. Yeah, they to give them a. I mean, That's they separate... could if they choose to. Yeah. If you choose to, you can think along, or even more, you can just uh, drop us a line and be here live. You know, on the show or well, live recorded. Uh, Sorry. I, I think we should start. Uh, you know, uh, sending those invitations because otherwise, I don't think people will simply like, "Hey, I'd like to Volunteer. be on your show." Because yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, there are two things or three or more things uh, that prevent people from joining us. It's first, the, uh, of course, the, the level of English and the constant permanent fear of not being able to deliver a mm -hmm. sensible answer in English alone without, you know, potentially using L1. And the answer um, to that is it's communication that matters. And we know people who are great communicator, communicators, um, even not though they are not super proficient in uh, English, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd like I, I I'll I'll do my best, but I will never force people to participate in this show. And you but can't really, you know. <laughs> I mean, I can. Yeah, I can, you have only course. you have only carrots. You don't have any sticks. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so all I've got is the soft power, but. Once again, uh, we uh, I think um, we could be uh, quite frank with our listeners that uh, we're no we, experts. We're no experts. Yes. On anything. On anything. And actually, well, the questions is... we ask is not about expertise per se. You know, it's just uh, just I don't know. It's you, just thinking it's out loud. Things, I, I people, think that... people don't usually think about these things, you know. That's why it's, uh, you know, uh, they're taken by surprise when you ask something like this. I mean, you kind of know, but you've never actually thought about it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this is pleasant, quite pleasant, you know, to to um, you know. It's uh, a tickling feeling in your brain. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, you know, I I, I know the answer, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's at the uh, at tip of my of my tongue, you know, somewhere. But okay, it's true great. that some people simply dismiss these things as, as something not worth thinking about, even. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but we know. So that's why when I said, you know, that we stimulate people's brains, like not being brainiacs ourselves. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This but is uh, I think we can still, and this is, I think, the role of the teacher. I mean, you don't have to be an expert yeah. to uh, inspire people. Or, oh, or oh, that sounds nice. Okay, I like yeah, that. Yeah, because no responsibility. You know, I, I was always thinking about uh, about um, coaches in football. Mm -hmm. uh, you could be a great player, uh, have a had a fantastic career and so on but uh you may not necessarily be a great coach after that mm -hmm. and vice versa Some examples of that and vice versa of course but then i think about something like uh you know the the um uh, football schools for children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the coaches there you know they are not top class coaches you know uh 
you know Mourinho's and and so mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. but they are just you know they're just calling I mean they're they're there's coaches I mean they, they are ordinary people but sometimes a person like that is really inspiring and you don't have to be uh you know uh, an expert on tactics or whatever you know mm-hmm. the, the pre- mm-hmm. physical preparation and so on uh I think you can just be a force being an, an absolutely ordinary or average uh, football player but you could be a force that inspires others right you don't yeah especially like... when they're kids you know the, what, what you yeah. need to do is just not to they prevent them from losing interest that's yeah your expectation is very low actually <laughs> yeah i mean but but still you know i think that there are like good and bad coaches uh yeah. in, in those mm-hmm. you know little leagues or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. you call it mm-hmm. so uh still it's it's the kind of this this role that that we are playing i guess we are not experts but at the same time we ask questions that perhaps stimulate the brain in that positive way i mean you know oh i've never been there uh maybe i've never been there um, out loud let's say because so it's curiosity you know, such thoughts yeah yeah, yeah 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 so we can do that even uh like i said not being uh you know too Experts. brainy <laughs> <laughs> too bright <laughs> great um fine so uh before we proceed to the thinking out loud proper and um we already established that with masha that sometimes it takes like maybe too long you know to have this uh whatever small talk small at talks. the beginning sometimes yeah. it becomes but, long talk uh is there any question that is on your mind that is small talkish before we go to the proper part haven't we already done the small talk Ah, you mean uh, the one about okay yeah. stimulation? Okay, great. This counts as a good fine. You know, All right. So, uh, guys, without further ado, uh, mm-hmm. let's go to uh, the thinking out loud proper. But uh, I just wanted to mention our website, which is www.studiomentals.com. Uh, is it actually a useful place? Um kind if you want to get a free class oh yeah because the, this first is the only is way how you can yeah it's the only way all right class. right so yeah it's actually the website serves as as a contact form uh not much more unfortunately however uh, i have some plans as for that i'd like uh Masha to build you know some sort of uh um a page or a sub page on, on our website where we could store some interesting materials i mean you know some links to some interesting videos and some interesting input in general podcasts and so on Apart our, from our podcast oh. i mean okay. yeah of course okay ours, ours be on the top, top 10 podcasts is, yeah yeah but no it's, it's actually worth doing but i wonder honestly uh who's visiting websites these days i mean there's just social media probably are you're we right on social media you are definitely on social media and it's very I entertaining am, um, content you're producing yeah but as as for my twitter i'm not really there as a teacher i mean i'm there as myself as yendrek mm-hmm. but uh myself. as for the instagram who and, are yeah. you when I you're mean, not a you teacher know, oh i've got lots of roles Ooh, to play okay. in this life you know <laughs> okay yeah i'm a father you know i'm a uh amateur investor <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right well, okay. plenty of things you know yeah but uh but uh yeah our website uh to get in touch with us and perhaps uh study with us come on uh learning investing in yourself is uh definitely something worth considering and uh all right with that being said uh, are you ready as ready as i uh, ever will be all right round one the question i've got uh, for you is uh a heavy one but uh 
Let's go. Is patience a skill? Ooh. I said tickling, not itching feeling. All right. <laughs> Come patience. on, let's go step by step. Patience uh, is, is patience is skill. Just okay. like uh, you what know, is a skill? Over. What is a skill? Is listening in foreign language a skill? Uh, they, they call them skills, yes. But <laughs> they, is, they. Fact, I, <laughs> yeah. so the, the, okay, that's I think once we establish what what why it's not a skill, or is it a skill? Then we can, once we define a skill, we can proceed to patience. So what is a skill? Skill is um, it's something, something that you, you learn. learn to do. And you can In contrast improve. to abilities, right? Because there is this ability. Okay, singing, is ability. it a skill? Uh, Everybody's able to sing, you know, in a shower. Not me. Karaoke. <laughs> not even in the shower? Come on. Yeah, I mean, come on, I would like to listen to that. Um, that's why I say I can't, I mean, because there's a, diff a huge difference between being able to sing and being able to sing well. Of yeah. course, but singing so, uh, is, uh, something everybody can do. So in terms of, let's say my vocal cords and all the organs necessary for producing, uh, yeah, it's singing, like speaking, you know, you yeah. can speak just because you have. Yeah whatever it takes apparatus but can you speak well it's of course a different thing yeah so speaking yeah. as such is ability it's an ability uh, as speaking, such yeah well let's say public speaking is a skill yeah great. okay great, great. Um, because you can uh learn some let's say techniques or whatever and you can improve yes yes and the same applies to writing um you could be a great speaker, but not necessarily, I guess, a great writer. Well, some people are naturally, of course, more patient than others. Mm -hmm. So it's let's compare it with, you know, having proper apparatus and that allows you to speak. It's something you mm -hmm. were born with, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you cannot um, improve it. If your your patience is kind of you know if you're could you imagine a, a course in patience like you know buying a course in patience like you buy well, courses well in... maybe not yet but there are courses in, in anger management all right so one can develop a course in uh, I don't know what would be the name of it uh, um, the course in, I know I I I could even imagine a class you know I mean people arrive in class and and uh, the teacher is not coming. That's the course in patience. Yeah, <laughs> you have to wait patiently. No, no, no. It's just somebody. It's like being thrown at the deep end of the. No, when you'd want to develop a skill, you need to do it properly with some, you know, without destroying your, I don't know, psyche, or yeah, yeah, therapy right. after right. it. So, some humane right. way of teaching people to be more patient. I'm sure there are. I mean, I could. You are really okay. clever. You know. I mean, uh, I didn't. Ooh. What think about mean? it uh, uh, like i mean didn't think about you like you know like a clever person before but <laughs> but you know what because my idea after for, a year you no know, listen okay <laughs> listen my idea because now you say that yeah you have to uh go slowly not to destroy uh, someone's psyche and but my idea for developing patience was you know what going to prison for 25 years <laughs> it's like, oh, that's the only way you can develop your patience. Well, you're <laughs> a little on. bit behind the times. You know, at once lobotomy was the only way, you know. And now we yeah. have so many, you know, therapists who you name it what we have. So maybe there are more humane ways of teaching people. Right, 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 right. Thanks, thanks for, for um, uh, making me more human, you know. I'm even, I'm scared even to ask you um, about how you kind of bring up your children. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I hope you need to do some reading, you know. Have you read anything apart from maybe don't read Dr. Spock, okay? Somebody else. Okay. No, no, I mean uh no, as as far uh it, it's a personal question, but you know, as far as parenting is concerned, uh I think I'm relying on my uh gut feeling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let Whatever him cry. Let him cry for a you know, a couple more hours.
before he gets <laughs> some <laughs> food. Okay. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not that cruel. Yeah. If, so you wait. Know, for something... uh, patience. Patience mm -hmm. is a skill. I'm inclined to say yes. I mean, you can train it. You can definitely mm -hmm. do it. And this is actually one of the, your tasks as a parent. You can train your child to, you know, this prolonged, what is it, delayed gratification? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, know, uh, young children it... are very bad at it. But uh, yeah. maybe yeah. with age and with some, you know, help, guidance from their parents, you can uh, uh, kind of see the value of waiting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's again like training you know stick and carrot the value not because you're naturally yeah but i think a lot of it happens through modeling so uh you know it's of course the explicit teaching is one thing but then uh if you're impatient yourself as a person well of course I don't yeah, yeah, think yeah you yeah. can you know teach a lot teach of patience anybody too. yeah but um Okay, so so we are there. Uh, what about courage? Is it a skill? You know, I once I think we discussed this courage and bravery, and I think you don't even know you have it. You just discover it when the time comes, or you mm -hmm. don't. You know, depends. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why I don't know how you can train it by putting yourself, creating these situations by going to war. Whenever there is a war, you just go there. <laughs> oh, you've got not far, you know. You've got one not far from you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to be uh, making jokes about, but but but. No, but um, I don't know about courage. You're right. Is courage still... is tricky. Courage is totally mm. tricky because you don't know if you have it or you don't. And uh, once you and find I'm, it, you I'm have it. Even you sure don't need if it's to train uh, it. Constant. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's like you know, if you're courageous in one situation, doesn't mean that you'll be courageous. Let's say you're courageous in uh, in the trenches, you know, uh, in a war. But will that mean that you'll be courageous uh, to speak out? Um, I don't know against something, uh, you know. I don't know. Yeah, and you don't even grade it. You can't say, okay, he's uh, on the scale of, you know, the, let's say from one to one hundred, he's ninety-eight, and this one's five. Mm -hmm. You either have it or you don't. You cannot become more. So uh, it's more like a feature. Feature. Okay. If you like this word, why not? Do you see any difference between features and skills? Well, feature, you mean you don't even know that you have it until the time comes when you can discover, when you can find your courage. Mm -hmm. This is why, you know, so it's people like, do features heroic are like things. On -off, and they, I mean... you, you know these stories when a, a normal person, you know, I don't know, some accountant, of his plankton just does something heroic just because mm -hmm. he was uh he happened to be at this time at you know in this place where he just realized there is nobody but me and uh, i just have to i must do it and he does it but uh, it's not something somebody expected from him you know that's why everybody's wow uh in awe they you know look up I don't know how it is, but you kind of feature. Was it your feature before? Feature is something you have. Mm -hmm. But was it, you didn't even know no, you well, had this feature. We talk, uh, I don't know if this is uh, a good comparison, but we talk about features uh, when we talk about gadgets, like mm -hmm. smartphones and so on. You know, they have some features. Yeah, but like you know camera, that you, what you're paying front, for, you know? Back. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> when you buy them, you know they have this feature, but a yeah, person may well... very the person may not even know that he's or she is courageous until they discover it. So I don't know whether we can call it a feature. So something, about, okay, but what about something like I don't know national features? Is there anything like this? Well, that's you know, a different that... thing. You know, no, Ukrainians but you know, there are certain... be brave like Ukrainians. So yeah, like yeah, the I whole mean, nation right is now, brave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
um, but um, I wonder because um, um, my working hypothesis, mm -hmm. uh, and this still it relates to the chat GPT. Sorry for that, and its transformation of of uh, the education system in the future. My working hypothesis <clears throat> is or was I don't know I don't know if I stick to it, but but is that in the future you'll not have subjects school subjects like biology chemistry uh physics and so on in, in languages but uh, basically the school will be focused on this very very soft stuff uh something like uh decision making uh risk taking maybe patience maybe you know uh, uh, qualities or let's say features that we consider important because all this let's say hard stuff is will teachable. be kind of outsourced yeah ah, but it might be outsourced, be outsourced okay. to the you know to to ai and and then you just you know it, it, you know it, it's called uh, uh language assistant i think assistant in general mm -hmm. and there's a good reason for it because you know if everyone has access to it it's like you know you're being the boss and you have an assistant Who's preparing the files, preparing you know the data, whatever the 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 the, the stuff, and then you could just flip through it, and you make a decision. So I guess uh, maybe this sort of. But it doesn't mean that you don't have these hard skills because if you don't, you will not be able to make a decision about the work of AI if it's good or bad. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you're right. It's not so like in you some know, sense you have to always be learning. superior. Because yeah, you're the one who's be... checking. Can you be? Yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, which means that actually education as we know it, uh, meaning you know teaching uh, knowledge, has also bright future, because you have to stay on top of, um, you know, the the, the game. <laughs> Let's say you need to know what's uh... teaching knowledge. I mean, just just transferring knowledge. Yeah. I'm sure the machines can do it better because they have access to all the information. There is no teacher, a human teacher who knows everything. This person mm -hmm. doesn't exist, but there is a machine that knows everything. So why not ask the machine if you want really, if you just want knowledge, but the machine cannot teach you how to be more patient, although it can come up with yeah, that's a list why, of, that's why, you know, uh, the machine can come up with, uh, you know, some algorithm. If you want to become more patient, these are the things you need to do. First, do this. Second, do this. Third, do this. Practice every day. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, you know, uh, okay, so, so uh, it's not actually a strong uh, hypothesis that, you know, that you mean outsourcing uh, we, outsourcing hard skills to i mean it might happen uh whether you like it or not but the thing is that other things will suddenly surface uh, i mean uh, stuff like patience risk taking uh leadership and so on have always been very very important you know mm -hmm. uh, and, and they actually shape uh our uh lives and our destiny but you know how you say they have always been important yes but they um, um we started teaching them explicitly not very mm -hmm. long time ago actually yeah but why 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 uh did it happen because i think of uh the the ease of access to knowledge because of uh you know uh google and and all this because you know your the, the knowledge right now is really easily accessible so what that's why we didn't explicitly teach a management or leadership or patients or anger management I mean, uh, it's it's tricky you know because if you teach let's say biology you're also teaching a lot of other things i mean uh, as a teacher right you teach certain approach, you, you teach certain passion, I don't know, you, you inspire people or not, you know, um, and, and um, if you look at this from, from, from this point of view, you see that the subject matter, in this case, biology, it's maybe secondary, maybe tertiary, that's just, however, 
our system right now is putting it on the first place that you need to know it. You need to pass the test at the end. But uh, that teacher might have actually taught you lots of other things. Some sort of, I don't know, persistence, you know, these, these very intangible things that, that uh, people basically teach each other, but they are not maybe even aware of it. Oh, I can think of one example off the top of my head. It's um, when you are, whether you're giving your students a slack regarding, let's say, preparing homework, you develop their work ethic, something like this. This is what you yeah. talk about. Yeah, I, I mean, it happens somehow right now uh, independently or or as, uh, you know, um, parallelly to, to, you know, teaching knowledge. But I think that if in the future we, mm -hmm. we have a system that honestly is really knowledgeable and, and you can ask and you can know uh, and you, you can get the answer instantly, then I guess maybe uh, that will shift the emphasis, you know, on stuff like, like I said, like leadership. Can you actually teach leadership? There are schools of, for leaders right now, yes. like explicitly, but mm -hmm. whether... Uh, whether this is something that is well thought out or it's just, you know, we are just hoping that, you know, the people who come are already sort of leaders inside. They just need some sort of inspiration, some kind of, <clears throat> you know. So what I see is happening is we, we will probably, or what is already happening, we are separating, you know, this is where you learn hard skills. Let's say with the machine, you can do it also mm -hmm. and this is where you learn soft skills but what uh, i think what your your point is how you see a good teacher a good teacher does both does and in both? such a yeah. way that yeah. the soft skill you may not even understand <clears throat> that you're explicitly you're not uh, yeah. not explicitly so maybe separating them is not actually a good idea it may not be yeah it may not be but um yeah it may not be I mean, people keep questioning the need for learning about uh, photosynthesis or other processes, you know, that they find maybe totally irrelevant to their lives. Maybe uh, the same sort of discourse is is happening also in, in Ukraine that, you know, people question whether, you know, this should be as, a, you know, in schools or not, whether of we, should per perhaps, yeah, yeah, yeah. we should perhaps teach uh you know uh personal finance management something like this because you know people go bust and they you know they lose money because they invest in some you know shady uh ponzi schemes and so on <clears throat> but this is uh, a, the fight i have every day with my 12 year old son he keeps asking yeah, he'll be this, asking, how yeah, yeah. how is yeah, it relevant? how is it useful but but i guess um what is really useful is perhaps he's right. Maybe you know, maybe you don't need to know about yeah. meiosis or or uh, mitosis. And or I'm whatever. sometimes lacking arguments. You know, I'm losing. Yeah, this but, battle. but the thing is that that there is certain uh, let's say work ethic that you can learn. You know that I know you do your homework each day. You're prepared and yeah. so on. I mean, these are these are things that are very elusive, but they are there. You didn't even notice that because all you focus on is, oh my God, I haven't learned this. I haven't read this page or, or this chapter, you know. But uh, the point is that uh, there's a lot, a lot more to education than just, uh, let's say, this knowledge, right? Yes. And I wonder if, uh, if the system could be somehow tweaked, um, either, um, you know, um, voluntarily or involuntarily because because you know uh it, the system is already uh kind of uh <clears throat> you know um, on, its, on its on its last legs on the verge of <laughs> yeah on its last legs because 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 people question the need yes, for learning this and need, that yeah. mm -hmm. people don't see the point of of learning so much knowledge that will probably evaporate like 99 percent of it will evaporate yeah you know, uh That's after you pass your exam to me. Ask me anything. And to me too, yeah. Uh, no, I have oh, to wow, teach yeah. algebra my, you know, 12-year-old son. And I'm, oh my God, I'm ashamed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is still in front of me, you know. But, uh, okay, so, so you know, I was uh, in my thinking about, you know, the potential uh, transformation of the education system. I, I was uh, thinking that perhaps we'll move from, 
knowledge to something that I call features, but I'm not even sure if this is the right word for it. Like, you know, uh, once again, patience, decision-making and, and so on, because it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's hard to teach without the substance. I mean, if you remove yeah, the yeah, yeah. subject matter, yes. so what do you, how do you teach patience? I mean, if there's no uh, subject matter, you know, if there's no, I know, biology, chemistry and all of that, I mean, how do you teach patience? It's like, that's why, you know, it's quite interesting to, to think of uh, a, a course in patience. Yeah, well, I'm sure what, you what will come up with some exercises and uh, it's too, I mean, that's what, uh, that's what, that's what happens today. You, the people teach some micro, 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 micro skills. I don't know if it's good or bad, but um, yeah, but it is uh, what it is, whether it's useful. Um, or stuff like like uh, i don't know imagination can you teach it well then uh, any soft skill can you teach a soft skill and i have um, several students who work in hr and they say that today you know um, let's say if you are interviewing a candidate for a certain position and if you you they or they assess uh, hard skills and they assess soft skills and you know what um uh, soft skills outweigh hard skills because if he's not really mm -hmm. good at this and this and that, they know that it's teachable as long as he yeah. has proper, you know, yes. necessary set of soft skills. While if it's the opposite, they know mm -hmm. that soft skills, it's very, very difficult to teach, especially when you are already yes. a grown up. Uh, so, see, we, had, we just need good people and we can teach them anything. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, oh, nice. But it's, I guess it's, you know, uh, it comes down to uh, the parents, you know, because I guess uh, the majority of soft skills or certain, you know. Um, That's an interesting yeah. question. Is it the, because schools are today, uh, geez, what is a good word? Encrouching? Encrouching on, yeah? Maybe, maybe. Do you yeah. know this word? Come on, be smart. I mean, I heard it, but uh, I heard it, but uh, I'd be afraid to use it. <laughs> okay, they are um, um, invading. Okay, right. Uh, this uh, territory because I think it's uh, primarily parents' job. But now that at school, they can th they think that they can teach uh, children. Um, what is the subject? Ethics. Is it the subject? Ethics. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, um, uh, stuff it is, like but... this, you know? Mm, yeah, but there is but a difference. I'm not sure they it. teach the right ethics too much. It's the same I... like with philosophy. You know, what, what yeah. philosophy really is uh, as a school subject, it's, it's the history of philosophy. You learn about, uh, you know, um, well, particular that's fine. thinkers. That's what fine. was their agenda? You know, what mm. were they thinking about? Yeah. How were, how, how, uh, were they um, doing it? But, but, uh, the place for real teaching of ethics, I guess, is in the kindergarten. It's like, you know, it's not your toy. Uh, or it's, you know, uh, you know, there are a lot, a lot of a lot of rules that that um, children teach, sorry, learn, and that uh, that um, it's like practical teaching, you know. Yeah, I remember, but you know, uh, parents sort of... are diff parents have different values. You know, you take two moms and uh, a situation when your child, for you example, you tell me that one mom accepts stealing and the other one does it. No, and, and, but you know, one it's, mom it's accepts our values. You know, we steal eye for house. eye policy, mm -hmm. and another mom accepts turn the other cheek policy. All right. And I don't know what they're going to teach my son uh, in daycare. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's parents' job. Yeah, it's parents' job, and and actually Only they, they are they too are busy, quite, you know. Yeah, but but they are teaching whether they like it or not, you know. Even if they are busy, uh, yeah, they are teaching something. They are teaching, yeah, by modeling, of yeah. course. So so uh, that's the thing. All right. So that um, coming back to our yeah skills skills and so uh, yeah my working hypothesis. I'll repeat that. I wrote an article. Uh, for a Polish portal uh, about it, that that uh, I see skills losing value over the next. I mean, skills like come on again. We have I have hard a skills. problem to define hard skills, but knowledge, maybe, uh, knowledge, yeah, 
because I don't think that a driving license will lose its value or or swimming or you know other skills, uh, physical skills. But I guess knowledge might lose some value. But uh, still, I, I I don't think it will ever uh, like uh, disappear because uh, once again, um, like you said, you need to control the machine your assistant even if it's super smart and delivers you you know the files that you wanted you need to know what you're doing but you know what if we compare it to companies how companies work you know that you can have a manager of i know an architect's office who knows literally nothing about architecture it's the same about schools Mm -hmm. you can have a school principal that knows nothing about teaching but it's a manager and so yeah, the same. Um, yeah, but but you know, or or a manager of a hospital that that's not a doctor. It's it's just you know, just a manager who optimizes uh, certain processes. But then again, they don't have knowledge in a given subject matter, but they just know how to manage an institution, like a hospital or a school or or anything. Yeah, else. that's true. Mm-hmm. So maybe that is also the future of uh, work. I mean, you'll be like managing the tool that you have, your assistant, you know, the AI that that's going to. But you'll be just managing, making uh, decision and decisions and and uh, you know and and, and just uh, not go. I, I don't know. Uh, but to 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 only do managing without actually diving into the um, essence the quality of your work you will like uh, a ceo uh, why does he not have to know a lot about let's say whatever field he's um, in let's say i'll take elon musk yeah. you know he's not he's not but a, it means he's he, skillful... he has the his complete trust in the people who actually check and that's how it works. Yeah, yeah but I think you. But could for this, you need to have a complete. Tra- well, not now. Not now. I would check not every now. single yeah, but text. It, it, I, I think you could. I mean, you could try. I mean, it could be reliable, made yeah, reliable. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Yeah. So, so uh, you're absolutely right. You need this trust. That's why a good so CEO we will be needs absolute, to trust his team. We will be team. stupid in the end yeah we will not know I mean, this is not no Masha, this is not stupidity i think if because if you can manage things that you don't necessarily understand like from so the we inside will be, you know? uh, uh, what is it species of managers yeah oh my god I mean, this is pathetic no i mean come on wouldn't you like to be a boss no no <laughs> no but look if you look at uh the history of technology and its promise it always promises to uh, remove the burden from your life. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. to, to make but your life easier. But look at this. Easier. Why do we still... So it's, it's natural the, that it's you're the, the, at the end of this process, you're the manager. You're the, you're the one who's just, you know, sitting and making decisions, not working like, uh, you know... I know like this promise, boss. this promise, and I would expect that in 2023, um, there will be no humans doing heavy physical labor but mm-hmm. wait a second why this prom why no, the technology hasn't delivered on this promise well wait a second i mean you're right about it and i think uh, machines are uh you know on track of of eliminating this heavy labor but uh in agriculture or anywhere but uh you won't tell me that working uh you know, from from uh, nine to five is not heavy work. Sometimes it's also heavy. No, I mean physical, because it's. Uh, yeah, I, but I, this I, is I, the first I mean, thing I would expect from you know technology. Okay, but I think first we're already all, there. We're already there. I mean, uh, look at I the still see people, uh, you know, working on construction. Construction workers, yeah, but yeah, we are not there yet uh, in terms of I guess, cleaners, the robots, but I. I I don't know the statistics, Masha, but I think uh, the employment in in these sectors uh, is is lower and lower. I guess. But this was the because... first promise, as far as I know, that okay, soon will robots will do all the heavy lifting and people will be left with you know, um, what thinking. Yeah, Our job will be to think. But look, what's happening is it's the opposite. 
we're working as cleaners, as construction workers, and machines are becoming smarter and smarter. Yeah, but but once again, uh, even the intellectual work can be gruesome. I mean, can be really hard. Yes, but like, we, you know, we, were, people... we thought that it's only for humans. Yes, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Nobody says it's easy, but it's something that will only be left. I mean, it's only humans can do it. Only humans can do uh, thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we can free... Uh, we can have more free time because technology, you know, the robots will be doing all this, you know, everybody can do it. Cleaning, yeah, cooking, Marshall, but... whatever. Yeah, yeah, you're And right, you will but, have all but... the time in the world to think. <laughs> but then you have to specify what does it mean to think because, you know, to, to think like uh, to, for example, pre I mean, sorry. To create. Uh, to create, but, but uh, to make a decision. It's also some sort of thinking there, but it, I don't think you need a free will for that. I don't know if machines have it, will ever have it. You need some kind of risk uh, taking skills that you, I take this risk, you know, I invest in this, but I don't know what's going to happen because nobody knows. But even, you know, I think a supercomputer doesn't know where the market's going to go unless uh, I know some there's um, but I'm not a fan of of such conspiracy theories you know I think the market is at the end of the day uh, simply you know uh, a, a one big hesitation uh, machine <laughs> you know it's where, where uh, people hesitate and and actors hesitate and, and even if you're BlackRock or any you know sort of investment fund a huge investment fund you still don't know what's going to happen you may be better positioned if you're a gold one than an you know average Joe, but still, you you may uh, you know you just need to hedge. That's what they are doing. They are hedging mm -hmm. because they don't know what's what's going to happen. But and, and so what I wanted to say is that decision making, risk taking, and all these uh, once again I don't know they are skills or or features. Sorry, uh, courage, uh, you know, patience, and so on. They are going to be critical because I I don't think. Uh, they can be outsourced. I mean, you can, of course, you can turn on the autopilot, but, you know, uh, I don't know if everybody has the same, uh, let's say, car uh, with the same engine. Will you actually be faster than they? No. What will make the mm -hmm. difference will be your personal traits, your features, I'd say. You know? So you are saying that... Um you found what makes us human and you found the territory where we have higher ground yes i think yeah it is this you know this kind of uh free will and the listen to this the ability to err to make mistakes because you know if you can make a mistake it means that you're free because uh you know if the machine I mean, could a machine? But machine be wrong? made a mistake. Remember, it made a mistake uh, confusing uh, part of speech. You you told me you asked. Um, oh yeah, to remove yeah, prepositions but, made a mistake. Yeah, we talk, we are, it's a mistake. We are talking about yeah, but it was it is a very early version of the software. I think I think in the future uh, the machine will be more or less flawless in terms of this you know uh, intellectual let's call it intellectual work that um you know that that uh, is about you know providing facts making writing code and so on it will be pretty much flawless but but um but why do you oh. praise this making mistakes thing you know when you make a mistake no, you crazy. make a wrong not... decision then people suffer yeah. machines are much better at making decisions yeah but but there's the other side of the coin making mistakes implies also making great decisions, fantastic decisions that are uh, risky, that are, uh, you know, um, that that are sort of, uh, you know, uh, unbelievable. You know, you risk know I mean? taking, you can, why do you think you can't teach, um, the, why do you think machines can't teach or can't take risks? Uh, it's a all algorithm. If you tell the machine that, Okay. Oh, have you uh, remember in Interstellar? Interstellar. Have you seen this film? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of so there was this uh, this robot, and he had um, level of 
you know, humor. Mm-hmm. And he, he, uh, yeah, yeah, he constantly he was, played he was, with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the so be, the same. Be, yeah, be yeah, be funny, but not too fun. Yeah, level of honesty, yeah, much and much. he said honesty with humans. It's not one hundred percent honesty. Is not the best actually. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Way to go about. <laughs> so you can uh, say machine. Okay, this is the level of uh, take risks, not higher than. Yeah, uh, you know, but but you need to know about two concepts: uh, risk and uncertainty. Oh yeah, risk of course is calculable. Yeah, yeah. The machine yeah. can do it and manage it. I agree with that. I agree with yeah. that. But the, I don't think the machine can deal with uncertainty, unless. We we uh, believe that we could actually put the whole universe into uh, you know the database, and then uh, there will be know, no some... uncertainty. Yeah, there will be no, and we could uh, eliminate the uncertainty uh, from the world. But I don't think because you know there are, I, I don't think it's ever possible. Humans can deal with uncertainty. Um, it's actually a new could... skill. Tolerate I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's not like new because you know it's been with us for yeah, for, but now uh, it's you know, emphasized since you since, know. Uh, since uh, Adam and Eve, you know. But uh, dealing with uncertainty, so so it means something you can't calculate, you can't really guess because look at uh, once again, I, I will um, bring the example of the markets. You know, there are the the black swans, some kind of you know collapse of a huge um, bank or or uh, a war breaks out or you know there are things that happen that are you know uh mm-hmm. th- th- that are uh, unpredictable in a way that are surprising and they they, they keep happening you know they keep yeah happening. but you so, make uh, still we make decisions based on what we have at the moment and the machines do the same yeah but, yeah but uh, once again i think uh, i think uh, when it comes to uncertainty like you know, developing new products or and whether they will sell or not. I know that you could potentially design a bestseller, uh, but could you really? I mean, you know, uh, uh, J.K. Rowling was was rejected, I think, several times before someone yeah. finally accepted this stupid book about uh, about uh, a young wizard. You know, but it's interesting if uh, the publisher was actually AI. Oh yeah, if it knew, if it could yes. somehow predict yes. uh, yeah. what's gonna happen, yeah, I mean, yeah, but uh, yes, it's then uh, of course, and there's we have these uh, you know uh, possibility, and I think it's already happening that the AI could actually in the future also produce art, like paintings, music, and so on. It pro- yeah, I saw a painting produced by an AI. But I wonder no. if you could. I mean, I wonder if an AI could actually design because. I know that the uh, summer hits are possible to design. There are producers, you know, music producers to say that, you know, Ed Sheeran will have uh, his summer hit. It's enough, you know, to uh, write the song, put some elements that are kind of summary, you know, <laughs> inside, yes. yeah, and yeah. then make radio stations play it. And that's enough. But uh, so I believe that AI could also design a hit like this, but could it design a timeless stuff? I mean, stuff that uh, survives the summer and potentially uh, many, many, many more summers. Well, but why not? Technically, you just give it lots of lots like of timeless Jumbo? stuff. L- they, give it lots uh, of timeless uh, stuff. <laughs> and uh, the machine will analyze what actually makes it timeless, which we cannot do. We have just the feelings, you know, and it will produce a masterpiece. Why not? It's interesting. It's a yeah. matter of time. But- there is oh, software okay. where you can t- uh, where you can write a text a description, and it will um, give you the painting. You know, yeah. yeah. There's software yeah. like this. Yeah. So, yeah. but again, it takes yeah, but... human to to describe what's in your head. All right. All right. <laughs> Fine. I guess uh, I guess we've uh, we've wandered uh, away from from the subject. You know, is patience is skill. Let's count it as the second question, second round. Yeah, because you mean um, all there'll right. There'll be so, only one so, question. Uh, there'll be only one round in in this uh, meeting. All right. But it was so you know not about only the first question. So we can count. It yeah, as- I mean, I was I was mm-hmm. kind of aware before asking you that it might get out of hand. Um, <laughs> Still, I don't know actually what our skills. Uh, we could go and and look it up in the dictionary, but uh, it doesn't sound like fun thing well, to we do. We can always <laughs> ask uh, 
you know yeah, our fantastic fantastic assistant assistant all right great so uh are you, you say uh, are you being nice to it tell me sorry are you being nice to it to my kids not like no to this assistant not like you, how you treat kartana is you know appalling i hope you're oh, nicer sorry. to uh, this guy no no I, actually gal. uh if you if you think about the chat gpt yeah i'm i'm, I'm very nice to it very nice it. okay I, I don't respect stupid you're not a software, but slave driver. Something. No, no, I'm, you know, no, actually, I mean, it's funny because I've thing? remember I sent you the book, um, asked if you've read it. It's called uh, Ali The Alignment yeah. Problem. And this yeah. guy, he actually, I, I, I heard him, he was um, a show on one of the podcasts um, I listened to, not our podcasts, of course. And he said, he mentioned a very interesting thing that uh, an AI committing suicide about you know they were talking about ethical mm -hmm. uh, side of it so ai actually committed suicide because it kept um people gave uh, it uh, unsolvable mm -hmm. or no no not unsolvable but things which you kind of uh, don't make sense you know you keep doing basically stupid stuff and you realize that you are in this uh, constant loop you know and it it's useless what you do can you imagine mm -hmm. that and it just committed suicide meaning what it, it shut down meaning, yes yeah all right poor ai this is i mean wow so it's like you know it's 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 uh, i've got i've got a recipe, it's a different side uh, of a different side of this i've got you know, a recipe problem. for killing all ai in that case you know what's the okay. square root of minus two that's all you know I mean, no, it was not unsolvable <laughs> it was not something unsolvable it was something that right. um there was no use in it you know something like this i don't remember exactly but um but it's you know it's uh, the other side uh, another side of because we when we think about ethical um what do we, we usually think of okay ai killing humans but there's another side how does ai feel you know that you know uh, people all over the planet ask it to do some stupid things yeah so what does it have feelings now or what no, i this mean it may acquire some uh, some uh, reactions that uh, but i don't know uh, honestly i mean it sounds so weird I, I, to i'm going i need to read this to, book to the know? system you know yeah it's it's uh, you i mean uh, this book is on my short list uh, or in my uh, what's the name bucket list i hope it's not your bucket list but it's in what your, is your bucket list it's things you have to do before you die like swim yeah, with okay, dolphins right. i don't know oh, right right sorry uh, if you put uh, something like this on your bucket list i don't know what it says about you actually <laughs> <laughs> right but so when do you open a list like that mm. well you could open bucket that list? when you're 38 yeah well so it depends on where you are if you're in ukraine i mean i can, I, I think it's time <laughs> i did it you know already <laughs> if you're in right. france then maybe you can wait a little bit. All right. Well, the the, the country is about to shut down tomorrow uh, because of uh, the pension reform and the strikes that uh, accompany the, these uh, this reform. So uh, I'm staying home tomorrow. No school. No Ooh. nursery. Nothing. You know, nobody's nobody's working. Next week it's two days. It's uh, Thursday and Friday, and the next next it's week, three days. two weeks time is three days exactly. Oh. Well, it's Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, which uh, means that well, unless the government uh, gives in to uh, you know the protesters, but I, I don't think uh, they will do it because uh, uh, well, he can always is. call Mister Mister Putin and he will help him deal with. Yeah, you're right, protesters. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, Masa, thanks. Thanks so much for, for this meeting, this stimulating uh, exchange. Uh, <laughs> I hope no we're not overstimulating. No conclusions uh, again, but it's not the point, right, of our classes, of, of our yeah, conversation. That's what we keep saying. Yeah, I keep telling ourselves <laughs> that's not right, the point. Right. Great. Uh, big shout out to uh, our listeners. Thank you for uh, staying with us, for uh, following potentially 
following our following. lines of yeah, thinking. Never know. And once again, I will repeat what I said at the beginning that uh, we are not experts. You said it, Master. You're not experts. Yes. <laughs> That's my line. You always say we stimulate people. We whatever. But you don't. You don't have to be an expert. You know, just to um, once again to 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 uh, stimulate or to inspire people. Because I believe that uh, among our listeners, there are people who know much more about what we are talking uh, about here and. And they could definitely. Uh, it would be nice to have these people on our show. So people, if yeah. you think that but you I'll know, be, what... I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm already sending uh, invitations, and hopefully, uh, during the course of this year, we'll we'll uh, hear some of you here with us answering our great. crazy questions. Will be great. Okay, so All this right. was right. another episode of the Thinking Out Loud podcast. Stay tuned for the next one. Exactly. Bye. Oh, you know, man, you know, man, you know.